Don't watch me, watch Nolzine TV. It's the best video ever and subscribe to it. Alright, this is Brandon with the Mall High Minute. You're now tuned in with Nolazine TV, man. Alright, also tell everybody where you're from. From Denver, Colorado. Uh, lived really all over. I was born in Fort Collins, lived there for like three years. Then I moved to the metro area up north in Denver, like Thor, Nevada. And right now I live in Denver, so really just all over the Denver metro area. Okay. Yeah. And so for the people, I'm like, who don't know? I'm like, tell them what you do. Man, <laughs> I, I'm the number one blogger out here in Colorado, man. It's like, no, but uh, yeah, just overall. Are you the number one blogger? Because, you know, that's how you say it. Like, do yeah. we have other bloggers? Yeah, we got other bloggers okay. for sure. Fish Gale, he's here right now. Um, Shout rap Picasso, we got a bunch, but yeah, I mean, I run a, it's overall media production business, you know, we do interviews, um, blogging, promoting, all that, man, maybe music video here and there, um, but yeah, just overall, you know, blog. Okay, so like, you know, if I have like a media, I'm like company in like Colorado, yeah, like, hey, but do you feel like it's a, like, do you feel yourself actually going... I'm like harder. I'm like for the. Like, do you feel like you're going like harder from the? Well, I can't get it up. No, do you, you feel like you're going harder? I'm like for the artists. I'm like in Denver or like the outskirts of Colorado. I would say overall Colorado. I go hard for all the artists. You know, Springs, Aurora, Denver. You trying to get up them all north. out? Yeah, but I mean, Denver's like the big city. So, and there's a lot of talent already in Denver. So, but I mean, I'm, it's pretty equal. You know what I'm saying? I manage in Polo, you know, from Aurora. I really fuck with what Aurora's got going on in Denver. And, you know, I got to tap into the Springs, too. Shout out Mac Diddy and uh, Mel Stacks. So, yeah, overall, just Colorado as a whole. But those three cities are, like, the main, like, hubs, for sure. Okay. And so, and so like, having one, I'm, like, Colorado, I'm, like, based media company. Yeah. Do you ever, I'm, like, reach out to, like, artists and do you ever reach out to artists? I'm like other out like of state. Things, like the, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, shout out Texas. I uh, was actually down there in like August. Was running interviews out there. Um, I just did one with Billionaire Black from yeah, Chicago. Yeah, I was about to ask you about that. Yeah, just did one with him while I was in Phoenix. Uh, I've tapped into so yeah, Chicago, Texas, Phoenix, um, Atlanta. I did a trip into Atlanta. So yeah, really tapping into other markets is kind of like the main goal right okay. now. All right, but that's next for you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, call like, I'm sure you know, you know, once you hit that plateau in your city, it's like, all right, you know what I'm saying? If I'm really trying to go global with this, I'm really trying to take this to the next level, I got to go tap in yeah. out of state. You can't really actually help the artists if you just only posting them. Like, you posted everything in Colorado. Right, right. You got to have other, like, you got to have other markets tapped in and, that, and it's just everything. Facts. And that, that's what, uh, what Polo was saying that was important because, yeah, like, of course, I'm going to show, it's my home, home team, you know, I fuck with Colorado, but... If we really want to expand, you got to tap into other states, other markets, you know what I'm saying, so. Okay. And so, like, being in media in Colorado, like, you know, and like, how do you deal with the artist? Because I like, because yeah. I know, like, you know, just being, and like, being from, like, a certain place, artists feel like, artists feel like they don't have to pay you. You mm -hmm. supposed to, and like, you supposed to do it. Mm -hmm. And so, how you feel about that? Man. I mean, it's just like the rest of the industry, like the rest of the blogs, especially when you're first starting out, you know what I'm saying? See the pair get popping, like Sean Conn says, you know what I'm saying? Like, of course we want to make a little bread, but when you're first putting in that groundwork, you got, you're busting your ass for a lot of people for free, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to make something happen. And um, like you said, a lot of artists, you know what I'm saying? Just cause they seen you post this artist or another artist, they feel obligated to oh yeah, you, you gotta run a free interview with me or you gotta promo me for free. And it's like, nah, it don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you just gotta put out good music and it's gonna get posted by us at the end of the day. Well, the thing is, even if, like, even if you do have good music, yeah, hey, but that don't actually benefit a blogger. Like, you right, gotta yeah, do something, yeah. go viral. You have to have a fan base. Yeah. You gotta send fan base to a blogger to even make it make sense for the post you. No, facts. Yeah, it's definitely more music. Uh, shout Trevor Rich. We were talking about this the other day. It's, it's more than just the music. You gotta have an image. You gotta be able to go viral, like you said. It's, you gotta be able to bring, like, we're, we're basically trading, um, how you say, value for each other. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you might have the good music, but 
if you want to come on my platform, like you need to be able to provide value, have good fan base, bring in, in just bring in fans bring and stuff. Somebody. Here. Yeah, yeah. And bring then, at least ten people. Right, right. And then I'll bring you fans. You know, it's it's, uh, it's value. We trade right. value at the end of the day. Like you know, being in the media, like how important do you think it is if an artist to actually, I'm like pay for, if it actually pay to be on the media platform. I think it's important, you know what I'm saying? You got to invest in your craft at the end of the day. Um, I've invested in promo. I've invested in working with other artists, you know what I'm saying, to help my platform boost. Um, that's important, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't think there's a middle ground, you know what I'm saying? I don't think you should charge. You should charge what you're worth at the end of the day. Some people I see charging, hella. And it's For like, no reason. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, well, how many fans are you really giving that artist if you're charging them that much, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like to work with budgets. I like to really do my best to bring value. Well, me personally, I ain't work with people budget no more because they yeah. try to lowball you. Oh yeah, that, that's a good point. See, I got that sauce from Texas. I ain't even finna lie. Yeah. It was like, how much y'all charge? Blue, they, just, you know, work with budgets. But also it kind of depends for me. Like The only way I work with your budget, if you have like a record label and you have multiple artists. Yeah, yeah. But if you're just an artist and you trying to work, like, like I don't even charge that much. So if you, right. I, like I'm not working with your budget. Yeah, yeah. Even, like, yeah, and like you know me, I try to help the artists in the mm -hmm. process of them paying me. Like, like the only way I could get you known if you go do the right shit, you need to go do a photo shoot. Facts. You need to be consistent dropping videos. Facts. Like, if you just want me to keep putting out the same video, you not like neither one of us gonna get nowhere with this. Right, right. No, yeah, that's a good point. And like, you I, gotta be blog ready. Yeah, yeah. And it's like I'm, a, I'm a lot of times I'm a charge based on how hard you're working and you're, you know, how good you sh you're sounding, how much. You know what I'm saying? You're putting out. And then based off that, depends on how hard I'm going to go for you. Say if you throw me, you know, three to 500 for an interview, I'm going to make sure I'm promoting that everywhere. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. You throw me 100 and you don't really got a story, I'm going to do the interview. It's probably going to be like 20 minutes. But if you throw in three to 500, I'm going to make it worth your value. We're going to do an hour long sit down. We're going to, like I said, promote it on all platforms. Like it's, so, it's all value. And, and so like an hour long sit down, like I don't think an hour long sit down is actually worth it mm -hmm. unless you drink. Yeah, so, yeah. Or, or like you serve people like, yeah. like somebody's gonna watch that hour long no video, yeah unless you're gonna break it down into parts yeah and i just started doing that yeah. I, I finally I, I, started doing and, but that. i'm actually about to break my first interview now in parts like okay. this coming week no yeah i mean for a while i was just doing full interviews but after getting up with like billy and like some of the bigger artists you know, you know like, certain yeah. artists i just let it be full because like they're not gonna bring as much traction anyway right keep right dropping them on different things facts facts like you know i tell artists each artist every artist need an interview like like once a year facts like you know you don't need to keep doing interviews update just like you know it just updates yourself as you grow in your process exactly yeah no so, that's real that's real all right so like you know being in media and like actually actually doing like you actually covering like the whole colorado yeah. scene do you ever do you ever i'm um, like experience people feeling like you picking sides like when artists be beef with each other and everything like that? Oh yeah. See that's, it's like when you're in media, you got a middle ground, you know what I'm saying? You got to be able to do your best to get both sides. But at the end of the day, like I don't get too deep into beefs. Like we might post a little bit here and there. I don't post, I don't post beef too Yeah, long. yeah. I'm not really into that stuff too much. I'd rather be like you said, positive influence and like help artists grow. But yeah, I mean artists, like you said earlier, you know what I'm saying? I don't even post the artists die. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, if like the only thing I would post if they died is our interview. Yeah, I'd be like, long live that person. But I wouldn't post when yeah. he just got killed. And right, like, right. I, post that yeah. type of stuff. I have a little bit here and there, but usually I, I kind of stay away from that because it, it gets touchy, you know, especially right. when you're in Colorado and you know certain artists. And you can't and really follow like the Texas bloggers because they all just post. Oh the yeah. Same shit. Oh yeah, and they beefing with each other. No, yeah, and I've had to learn, you know, what I'm saying, watching Texas blogs and stuff yeah, like you can't that. Follow they, yeah, they, yeah, because like, yeah, they gonna run up, but like, at the same you know, time, people are all beefed up. And like, even their artists are a little different. Like, they artists like to show on the internet. No, like yeah. in New Orleans, artists ain't gonna do that. No, yeah, yeah. It's funny how like different states and yeah, blogs work for yeah. coming from different places. It's like you know, in New Orleans, it's small, so people are kind of kidding each other. Mm -hmm. So like, even people who kill each other are kidding each other. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, like you know, if you jump in the middle of that, it's kind of like you egging it on. No, yeah, that's that's a good point. So and, yeah, I usually and, and like, like in that city, like you go see each other. No, fair. It ain't no. It yeah, ain't, yeah, like yeah. Texas big. Right. Like you got different sides and different things. Like New Orleans is small. No, yeah. You gonna see that person. Facts. It's it's same shit here, bro. Yeah, like so it's small, so you it's can't like run from it. yeah. Like artists will DM me, sending me like, oh, 
him fighting some dude or like yeah. beef. And I've, I've played around with it a little bit, but then it got to a point where I was like, man, I ain't really trying to get in the middle, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, be sending, they be sending people paperwork. I don't care. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't care if that person is red. He ain't red on me. Facts. Like, you making good care. music or what? Like, <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. And so tell us, I'm like, what's next for you? I'm a like, media company. I need to go back out to Texas. Um, I'm trying to hit, like, I feel like I've kind of hit a plateau in Colorado where, like, my brand's big out here. Motherfuckers know who I am. They know, you know, come here for interviews. So I feel like I've kind of hit that ceiling. There's a couple artists I'm still going to interview. I, I mean, I'm going to just keep fucking with Colorado. But right now, what's next? I'm going to hit Texas. I'm going to hit Chicago. I'm going to hit L.A., Atlanta again, Miami. Just hit different cities, you know what I'm saying? Just to really branch it bro and really become global cities. yeah yeah, yeah. I'm hit always the main like i'm always go to atlanta miami right houston dallas yeah like new orleans i'm really outgrown it yeah you know what i'm saying it. like like i have like everybody there. yeah like hey but, see, but my first year i did like maybe 200 interviews yeah you know what i'm saying and, I, and, but like my first month i did 50 interviews real like i was just knocking my back to back working working oh yeah that's that's love and uh, like you said bro you of course you're always gonna have love for new orleans i'm always this is my home denver colorado shout right. out but like you said man if you're really trying to expand and build a global brand we well, can't really help the artists until you have other people tap in oh yeah facts it's like you know we have like you know and we have a few i'm like media blogs mm -hmm. now but it's like they don't realize like we all just like we all would just promote to just New Orleans people. The same people, but like, yeah. You know, like, like, just Louisiana in a whole has maybe three, four million people. Right. Like, in Houston, got two million people living just in Houston. Yeah, right, right. So, it's like, you know, you ain't even reaching out to these people. So, you, so how you gonna get the real fan base? Right, right. No, that's facts. And that's why, I like, I think it's important to go out of state because, like, blogs like Dallas Global or Sperry or other, other, like, you wouldn't even know about Colorado probably if it wasn't for you me tapping in out of right. state and you know what i'm saying making moves and like you know because like yeah. i'll be actually going on different blogs and trying to and trying to find artists from everywhere like okay. yeah yeah no facts yeah it's like important. you know if like my goal is to go to all 50 states and just get a relationship with all the bloggers yeah and just be able to hit a button like if an artist won't pay but to get posted on all these blogs at the same time right right it just had your budget right it's man it's networking man you, that's how you do it man i'm learning a lot of game just talking to you i fuck with you oh man Hey, but like every day is one, like every day is one. I'm like learning process anyway. Hell yeah, <laughs> no, for real, man. It's a, it's a grind. It's the process. I love the process, though. All right, and also, uh, but last but not least, I'm like tell everybody, all right, where can they find it on, uh, like via social media? Okay, uh, Instagram at milehighminute.co, YouTube milehighminute, Twitter at MHM Denver, uh, Facebook page. We on Apple, all the. SoundCloud, all the podcasts and platforms, but the most important thing is the YouTube. Go subscribe, Mile High Minute, Instagram, Mile High Minute, and personals, brand Sailor. Y'all can look it up, but yeah. All right, we done. Hell yeah, man. Let's see, make them scream. N O L A Z I N E. Make them. S C R E A M scream. Nola Zine, make them scream. You heard me.